Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. It's a beautiful, crisp, cold fall day today. And as you can see in the background, I have my banana plants and my hibiscus that are looking rather sad. So we're gonna try to take care of some of those today. I also have some Bulbacodium narcissus that are some tiny bulbs that I happen to pick up at a checkout on my way out of a local nursery. So we're gonna toss those into a couple of pots as well. So I hope you'll join me as we do a little cleanup and planting. Let's go. Okay, so I've got this machete and we're gonna try to use this to chop it. It could be complete mush because we've had a couple of freezing nights, so this might not work at all, but we'll see. I guess this is why they carry a machete in the jungle. Let's see if we can get the stump going too. These are about 90% water. Okay, that worked really good. Let's do the other one. I still can hardly believe how big these grew in one season. I don't think they're gonna make it through the winter because they're about 90% water. I already am seeing that they're really basically uh, icy inside the plant. This is a red banana plant and everybody asked me about it lots this season and I'll probably think about growing them again next season. They were only about $10 each so a really great deal and the color is stunning. I have a feeling if you didn't have a machete, you could probably use an axe for these. And all of this debris will just go in my compost pile. So next up is my hardy hibiscus plant. This is the evening rose hibiscus, and I'm just gonna get my secateurs for this. I won't be using the machete anymore. So many things are pretty right now because there's frost. And uh, so I might take you around a little bit just to show you a couple of things. Now I'm gonna clip these at about four to six inches, maybe even a little bit more higher, even a little bit higher than that because I like to ensure that I can tell where the hibiscus are next spring. Hibiscus that are hardy in our zone here in 5B 
really tend to come out about June. So they're a very delayed plant in terms of when they start to show new growth. And so it's important to be able to see where it is that they are planted so you don't dig them up if you want to plant something in their spot. Looks like I have a herd of deer on the back hill right now. So we're just gonna do the same with this one. I can't believe how thick some of the stems got on this hibiscus. All right, let me show you what these two areas look like now with them trimmed back and then we will plant my daffodils. Okay, so here you can see the stump of the banana plant. Check out what it looks like. See all the layers of growth in there? That's really icy. And then the hibiscus over here, I've just trimmed back. And so those will just turn into woody stumps over the winter but it's nice to have that area tidied up it looks a little less droopy and you can then instead enjoy things like the beautiful rose hips and the beautiful foliage on the blueberries right sometimes things that look droopy like that really detract from some of the other beauty in the garden so it's good to get them cleaned up and this is just kind of what things are looking like right now here. We are definitely in fall and it is beautiful. Just beautiful, all the colors. Here's a goji berry hookara. Uh, I just think this one looks so pretty when it's got frost on it. So I thought I would show you that as well. And you can't miss the mega caramel hookara. Isn't that pretty? And then this beautiful trio of hookahs. They really show off the frost well. And these are semi evergreen plants here. So during the winter, it's a nice little pop of color to see. I just couldn't not show you some of the frost today because it's so beautiful. I find that with gardening, it's so important to appreciate all of the different seasons and what they bring to you. Now let me show you also my father Gila. Look at that. Look at those bright colors. Wow. It'd be really easy to turn this into a garden tour, but I just want to show you the frosty taps of this beautiful sedum. And look at the blue spruce sedum here. And the dianthus next to it and the mum. And then finally, the last one area of frost that I will show you here is the ajuga. Isn't that pretty? The chocolate chip ajuga with a beautiful little ice crystals on it. Okay, let's get the daffodils planted. Whew, guys, it's so cold I can barely feel my fingers. And I've got insulated gloves on right now. So what I'm going to do is pop out these geraniums that are in here. 
because they are going to turn to mush. And this is what I'm planting right here. They are a type of narcissus. And they are hardy, very, very hardy. So there's 10 in here and I'm going to put five in each pot. That's the plan anyways. Hopefully the soil is not completely frozen. And I'm just going to use my hori hori knife to open this and to make little holes for it. Typically you need to plant your bulbs just about twice the depth of the size of the bulb. So these aren't very, this is a fairly shallow pot so I needed some small bulbs to be able to plant them because I don't, I don't have a lot of room to go deep. So I couldn't plant regular daffodils in here without taking the risk of them perhaps freezing out over the winter. And that's pretty much all it takes, so let's do the other one. I almost forgot to, I have a bag of mulch that I'm going to put um, over the two banana plants. They are hardy in some climates, I believe they're hardy down to a zone 7. So if you are in a warmer climate, you can probably have those over the winter. They just freeze too much here. I was actually surprised that we have banana plants in Michigan all the way up till November. It's pretty amazing, actually. Okay. Those are all tucked in now. I'm just going to go grab that bag of mold. I think I'm going to blow on my hands here a little bit. <laughs> and then do it. Woo! I mean, my fingertips are frozen guys I'm not used to this yet <sighs> a little warm coffee to get my blood flowing again okay let's get the mulch okay I've got the bag of mulch back here and I just wanted to give you guys an update on these pots I normally empty these out and flip them over I've had a number of questions about them but what my husband's going to do for me this year is cut out some circles so we can just put them over the top using plywood and that will help keep the rain and water out so that as the winter progresses they don't freeze and thaw too much and the concrete planters can remain in place and I can leave the soil in there for reuse next season.
long as I'm in here, I'm just gonna pull out the uh, annual geraniums that were in here, the pelargoniums. I think I'll do that on the other side as well. That way I can throw them on the compost pile at the same time that I do the rest. Well, everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed getting outside with me again, even as it's brisk and cool, just to see a little bit about what the fall has to offer and get some beds cleaned up for ready for the winter. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.